This is Dr. Mickey again with Medrine Health and Aesthetics. Today, I would like to discuss about Botox. I'm sure everyone has questions about Botox, the areas that's given, how often, is it safe? I'm sure there's lots of questions on Botox. It's a very commonly done procedure. Um, so I would like to use this uh, picture to go over some key areas where Botox is commonly given, okay? So the first and foremost, is it level up? This is the first area people start noticing aging. Either you just start seeing one line or you start seeing 11s is what it's called when you see deep folds or lines. So that's the glabella. So glabella is the first area you want to get started. Uh, even though at the same time when you notice in the glabella or lines, you can start noticing the forehead lines or wrinkles. That's what concerns a lot of people. But before you start treating here, this is the first area that needs to be treated because this acts as a foundation and pillar for holding this area, okay? So never do the forehead without doing the glabella. So how do you do the glabella? That is this area, right? That is this area. Everyone starts having problem here in the forehead. So we divide the glabella into five points. So the injection is given at five spots. The one right here into the procerus and then the corrugators which are lateral to your uh, glabella. So that's this muscle here, procerus. We give one shot here and these are the corrugators. So both sides we give one here and one here. That is one here and one here. Same one here, one here. So total of five spots, one, two, three, four, five. So once the glabella is done, we go to the forehead, that is the frontalis muscle. It goes this way, like you can see. So you want to relax the frontalis muscle to help ease the lines and wrinkles, okay? So when you're injecting in the frontalis muscle, you're causing the weakness of the frontalis muscle. So it's normally its tendency to drop the crown, okay? So that's the reason you have to treat the glabella because the glabella normally is dropping the brow, so when you're relaxing it, it causes the elevation. So you're counteracting the relaxation of this muscle by relaxing this, so you're keeping the effect neutral. Okay. So once the frontalis is done and the glabellar complex is done, you can go to the cross feet, which is this area where everyone starts having trouble, they don't like the plants and wrinkles here. So that's a cross feet area. So we go around this area to open up the brow.